Okay, how cool is this? Wow! It's the Air oh, Museum. Yeah. We are here today in, where is this, Marietta, California? Yes, in uh, French Valley. French Valley Airport. Airport. And they have a little museum here. Look how cool this is. Wow. I like to start with the small things first and then I'll explain. And then we're going to walk over to the hangar that is open right uh -huh. over there by the yeah. white car. So, so watch your step. Okay. You want you using your phone or you want to use this? Huh? It doesn't matter. That way I can hold Kennedy or you can hold Kennedy. Wow, How cool is this? Wow. Look at that plane. Yeah. Let me get your hand touching the airplane. Look at she's touching the airplane. <laughs> oh. You guys want to be on YouTube? Going over there. I'll put you on YouTube. Okay. Oh my it goes about um, 100 miles an hour. Um, it's almost still in brand new condition and only has 29 hours of flight time on it. And the only reason why we have it is the guy that owns it is now in his 90s. Oh, wow. And he just doesn't feel comfortable flying anymore. Uh -huh. So he donated it to us. But it's still almost in brand new condition. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got a turbo engine and uh, it's really a sweet helicopter it really is nice really cool yeah really cute and i want to explain um a few things before we we go so that way everything will make a little bit more sense okay we have here our flight suits and they go from world war ii to the present and you, you'll see the reason why and um when we start doing more of the tour. But this one would be um, a World War II bombardier, okay? Um, like the, um, the B-26 bombers, the B-17 bombers. This is basically their uniform. And um, he would have been flying over like Alaska mm -hmm. and um, the colder um, regions. And that's why he's got on the sheepskin jacket. And look at his boots, how thick they are. They're lined with, with fur too, sheepskin. Oh, wow. And I want you to also pay attention. Look at his uniform. Underneath his flight suit, he actually has a shirt and tie. Oh, and wow. that was a requirement back in the 40s. Okay. That was a requirement. That was a part of the uniform, that they had to wear a shirt and tie underneath their flight suit. So not only are, you know, is your flight suit uncomfortable to begin with, mm -hmm. you can just imagine with a shirt and tie. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this guy here in the middle, uh, he would have been flying those planes that you see there, which is uh, the P-51 Mustangs. Those are equivalent to our F-16s back in the 40s, okay? And uh, he would have been flying over uh, the South Pacific, so he would have on a life jacket. That's a life jacket, actually, that you see, and, mm. and more of a lighter weight type material um, uniform. Now this guy here, okay, he would have been flying this type of a jet. Okay, he's our fighter jet guy. And um, as you could tell, um, he would have the oxygen vest too because the higher you go, the thinner the air, mm -hmm. okay? But I want you to notice around his legs, okay, what those things that are zipped around his legs, they actually blow up like a balloon. And what they're doing is actually pumping the blood back up to their brain. Because the faster you go, the more G's that you're pulling. And you can actually pass out. So to prevent him from passing out, they're actually trying to pump that blood back up to his brain so he won't pass out. And the, also the, the cockpits are so small, okay? Yes. You don't have hardly any room to jot or um, write down any of your charts. So they strap the notepad to his leg, okay? And he uses his leg as a table to jot everything down. And then now these two is what you see pilots are wearing today, okay? So what is the, what's the difference between the two suits for uh, the pilots today? Uh, just a different weight material, oh, okay. just different weight material, basically. But basically, it's almost just the same as that uniform. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, the F4 fighter jet. Look at this big. The beautiful F4 fighter jet. These were the flown during um, the well, Vietnam War. Okay, um, so this would have been like the fighter jet back in its day, compared to like our F-18s. Right. Um, when we get anything in our museum, okay, that we restore, we try to restore it to the exact markings and everything the way it would have looked with a flu doing that type print. A lot of our stuff is also airworthy. Okay, mm. you're looking at an airworthy F-4. There's only three left in the United States oh, that wow. are airworthy, and this is one of them, okay? Way the only cool. thing that's missing right now on this one, it's like 90% complete, it's just missing its engines, and the engines are at another shop mm -hmm. being done. But if you look here, okay, this would flare out, engines would go all the way back there, okay? Wow. Flames would actually come out of here and would be shooting out towards the back of the wall here when this thing starts out. So and oh, wow. because of the heat of the flames, this, this, and that is all titanium. Yeah, because okay. of wow. the heat. Yeah. So, all of so it wouldn't melt. Yeah, yeah. Now Way this cool. right here, that where she's touching, okay, that okay. is what they attach to fuel. Mm. So the tankers would attach right, yeah. actually to in here, uh -huh. and that's how you would fuel these things. Can I like turn on the flash and make it? You sure, maybe? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. This is number 11 prototype. Ooh. So you can ride that baby. You can get on that if you want to. Mm -hmm. You can get on it. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a number 11 prototype. And a V1 that President Kennedy saw a test mm -hmm. flight for the first time. Awesome. Did you see the environment outside the yeah. more This is and actually amazing. Yeah. <gasps> My it's dad was us, in the Navy. It's taken us 15 years just about to get it um, restored to this condition that you see because none of the original parts fit because oh. of this prototype. So every inch of this had to be refabricated. Oh, wow. Yeah, even down to some of the nuts and bolts. Yeah. Um, what so he's cool. looking at now, what he's looking at now in that case, okay, okay. Um, this would have been uh, the bad guys, the Viet Congs, Charlie, in Vietnam. That's how they would dress. Oh, wow. That's how the Viet Congs would have dressed. That's just their uniform. Yeah. That is actually their uniform. Looks more like pajamas, doesn't it? Yeah. But we're fighting in their backyard, basically, and these guys were ruthless. They were nasty. Yeah. yeah. yeah they were really I nasty. Saw videos. Yeah, yeah. They were really nasty. They're so this is this um is this what is this right here? Um, that is a missile. It is a missile. It's a missile. Yeah. Everything that you see in museums, they're exact replicas, but they are unarmed. Yeah. yeah. Because that the wall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 So also, um, also when we start to going to the restoration hangar. I want, I want to explain this before we go in there, okay? Sure. Um, one of the aircrafts that we are restoring is a B-26 Marauder. And um, about uh, two months ago, um, this lady that lives in Whittier is writing a book about her father that was killed um, um, during World War II, okay? And her publisher told her to contact us. And it just so happens that the airplane that we are restoring is the exact airplane that her father flew oh, wow. as a pilot uh, oh, my goodness. during the war. Okay. Wow. This is a picture of him. Oh. Um, this is his uniform. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to cry. No, I am yeah, <laughs> so emotional. You, see, you look at his uniform. This is it. Oh. That is his exact uniform. Oh, my goodness. Wow, now, that is so what's cool. What's neat about this, too, the story, and it's kind of sad, it was Christmas Eve. And um, he was on his way home. Um, she was six months old, and her sister Aww. was 18 months old. They were over Ohio, and somehow, I don't know really the details, they were in a different aircraft, a military aircraft. It crashed, killed everybody on board. So she never got to see her father. Aww. So she was able to come out to us 
had actually sat in his pilot seat. That oh, that's had. so cool. And, <laughs> and we connect. So she says the last chapter in her book is her coming here and being wow. wow. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Tell us a Chiquita. Like the, the man that owns this plane calls it Chiquita, like the banana. That's my dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. great, duh. <laughs> right. He wants to start learning how to fly in the military. That's usually what they would practice as. Oh, wow. Is that like the nose of the airplane? That got done. Really up there, dear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just walk while you guys looking? You're going to walk when she's, she's but giving you can us see the tour. Oh, my gosh, there's no room in there. Yeah, there's no room in there. Oh, wow. And you can imagine, yeah, you know, once that canopy comes down, yes, how oh, yeah, right. You have to multitask in your mind just to even. I can't imagine. And then you 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 fly it from the very front of this big. Oh no no, honey. Kennedy, you won't be able to climb up, sweet girl. It's a. There's always a letter in front of airplanes and helicopters, and those letters stand for something. F stands for fighter. Ready here, F. Kim's gonna check it out. <laughs> it's really, really funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There is like not enough room there. Yeah, yeah. Um, just over here, um, they do um, maintenance and um, annual inspections and stuff like that on airplanes. I'm gonna go over here um, where you see one right now is exposed. Out of the seven, none is flyable. And we get ours in flyable condition, and it'd be the only one in the world with combat history that is flyable. Wow. It'd be 26 flies. So if you come over here, okay, like I said, this is why. Yes. Very good. Yes. This is actual photograph of this one. Okay. So back in 1942, they were stationed in the Aleutian Islands off of Alaska, fighting the war of Dutch Harbor against the Japanese. Five were coming in from their last mission. Three made it safely to base. A latter two hit bad weather, which was a blizzard being on Alaska, and missed the runway, crashed. Oh, wow. oh. They had one fatality, and that was the gunner. Mm -hmm. The gunner would have been sitting right here, right in this little cavity. So imagine, wow. right in this little cavity would have been a gunner, right here, okay? Wow. Uh -huh. So this is what the airplane's gonna look when it's done. This is the nose, like I said, right here, okay? Mm -hmm. You got the pilot and the co-pilot. Going through that door would be the radio room or the navigation room. That would be the tail. And this would be the middle section, Kennedy, which would be say hi. Um, where the bombs would be. Okay. Say hi. So say hi, Kitty Pie. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That would be a. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna close this video off now. Um, this is Teresa, Keto Fat Girl No More, and normally this channel is about the ketogenic diet but today I came to this museum with my friends so I just wanted to show you all what was going on God bless have a great day bye bye